Bob Arum has just come out and said that he doesn't think it's a good idea for Team Akhmedaliev to threaten him and Nagia anyway with litigation for not fighting them. You know, and by him stating that he thinks that if they do, there's only going to be two losers. You know, the WBA, which will be the sanctioned body that would strip in a way, and the kid who is trying to fight in a way. The kid being Akhmedaliev. Who the fuck you think you talking to? Well, Bob Arum also said this. Akhmedaliev is a nobody that they have no plans on fighting him because in a way is the same fighter with three or four belts. They also said Casimero is not on top ranks radar. Well, this is why they're threatening to sue your ass, Bob. Cause you don't want Naya in a way to fight them. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm supposed to. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Boxer Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money. Back with another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. So check this out, man. We have a lot of news in regards to my boy, Naya Inouye, the monster, top ranked Bob Arum, and who he's fighting, Sam Goodman, on December 24th, you know, of this year. Well, a lot of people are disappointed with that matchup. Well, not me, though. I think Sam Goodman is a good, formidable opponent, and he's undefeated. And he is also the number one fighter in two sanctioned and bodies, the IBF and the WBO. Well, guess what? You know who else is a mandatory for the WBA? MJ Akhmedali. If you know who else is ranked in two sanctioned and bodies, WBC and the WBO, top 10, John Real Casimero. Two guys, coincidentally, that have something in common. The common denominator is yes, now you're in the way. Does it seem to want to fight them. Now, when I say now you're anyway, I'm more so talking about his team with top rank and Bob Arum is specific, is specific and in particular, but you know, it's kind of frustrating for them. Even though Sam Goodman does deserve the fight, in my opinion, I think it's a good fight, you know, between him and now anyway, but what I think are, what I think are better fights is now you anyway versus John Rio Casimero or now you anyway versus MJ Akhmedaliev. And MJ Akhmedaliev is said he's going to take him to court, him and Vadim Kornilov, who was his manager, also the manager of Dimitri Bivol. He said, we're going to take, we're prepared to take now you anyway and top rank to court in order to get what we feel we deserve, you know, and that's our mandatory fight with uh, uh, Naya anyway for the WBA title, you know, and he does deserve that because he's been in there. He's been in that position for a while. And according to the sequential order of how mandatories are called, he's next in line, according to him and his team. So, you know, Bob Arum has been ignoring it. And they said, hey, man, if you finalize this fight with Sam Goodman, then we're going to, you know, go through with this litigation and this lawsuit. And now Bob Arum has suddenly changed the tone. You know, he said, hey, if it if, if I was Vadim Kornilov and team Akhmedaliev, I would not be going forth with the lawsuit or going forth to court proceedings, I would be trying to get in line to start negotiations with, or to have a potential fight with Naya anyway in April. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> oh. Well, hold on, Bob. Before, you didn't even call MJ Akhmedali by name. You called him a kid, right? And you said, hold on. You said that, uh, Akhmedaliev doesn't have a name. He's a nobody to which Eddie Hearn had to rebuttal and say, hold on, man, this is a great fight. You know, and plus he's a WBA mandatory and he, and he let you go fight Lewis Neary and he didn't really put up a fuss when you fought TJ Doheny afterwards instead of fighting him. But now you're going too far now, you know, and I think MJ Akhmedaliev is a better fight. I want to be very clear. I believe Naya anyway beats MJ Akhmedaliev, but I do think that he's a better, more capable opponent than Sam Goodman. Yeah. Definitely way better than TJ Doheny. Yeah. And I think that he would have put up a better fight, even though, uh, 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 than Lewis Neary, even though that had some historical, you know, had a historical meaning. If you know, you know, because Lewis Neary did some nefarious things to one of their countrymen, you know, uh, some time back, and he had an indefinite ban that was lifted in order for Naya anyway to put them beats on him, you know, and that's what he did. He put the paws on him for real. So, but to, to be fair, even if MJ Akhmedaliev wins, if I think he wins or if I think he loses, which I think that Naya anyway beats him, you know, upsets happen in boxing and he deserves his opportunity. Now let's go on to John Real Casimero. Now John Real Casimero has been very adamant and vocal about calling out Naya anyway. He's been wanting a shot for a long time since back with COVID times. Um, and he just beat Saul Sanchez, the American, in a one-round demolition. And he called out in a way subsequently. Now, once again, you know, when approached, you know, when Top Rank was approached about the potential fight between Inouye and Casimero, they shut it down. You know, was saying that he's not even on the radar. We don't expect a fight with him at all, you know. And I think that is to the dismay of a lot of people who pay attention to the small divisions. And we know that John Rio Casimero, well, he's widely considered as one of the best oppositions for Dai Inouye. It has been for a while. Now, once again, I will repeat. Uh, 
similar to Akbadali. I think Naya in a way beats John Rio Casemiro. However, once again, we do know upsets happen, and I think John Rio Casemiro with his fighting style, with his aggressive, uh, uh, his aggressiveness, um, and which also goes with his aggression is power. He has power as well. Um, so I think that that has a has a recipe, that has the ingredients to make a recipe of a great fight between him and Naya Inoue, um, especially after we saw that Neri could catch him and drop him. If, if, if Neri can, I believe that John Rio Casemiro could poss possibly do so too. But however, I do think, and I will stand on this, that I think Naya Inoue will find a way to beat Casemiro as well. But that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean that I don't want to see this fight. It doesn't mean it's not exciting. And I would love for this fight to happen. Now, a little wrench in, in, in those plans have been placed because, unfortunately, John Rio Casemiro didn't demonstrate discipline. And he came in slightly overweight against Saul Sanchez. God damn it, that's a big fat ass! And due to that, he was punished by being uh, having a one-year ban dropped on him by the JBC, you know, the Japan Boxing Commission. And so he can no longer fight in Japan. And why that's an issue is because... Now, anyway, hasn't really been fighting outside. He's fought outside of Japan before, but he hasn't been fighting out of Japan recently. So if he can't fight in Japan, then that kind of eliminates you from the now you anyway sweepstakes naturally. However, you know, now you anyway has been in talks with Big Turk, you know what I'm saying? And maybe he could potentially fight out of Riyadh. So I think that there is still a slim chance that we can get Re uh, John Rio Casemiro versus Naya anyway if Casemiro, you know, demonstrates his ability to be a professional and not have any more infractions or have any more mishaps and stay, and stay winning. Because, you know, Big Turk, he loves, he loves, he loves a good competitive matchup, man. And I think that would be competitive. So there is still a little chance that we could get it. But Bob Arum over here trying to play the victim and advocate for people not to go through the legal system. Well, if it wasn't for you and, and dismissing uh, uh, MJ Akhmadaliyev, then they wouldn't have to take that route. You know, they have. there's no reason for them to feel confident that he would actually fight MJ Akhmadaliyev, you know, or has any interest in MJ Akhmadaliyev because, like I said, he's been very dismissive. So I, I do agree with MJ Akhmadaliyev and his team that they should uh, uh go put in motion uh um a proceeding in order to get now you anyway stripped of the wba title if he doesn't want to defend his mandatory and everybody should feel the same way you know why because this is how we felt when canelo did fight david benavidez right he's doing the same thing he's not fighting his mandatories you know that's what everybody was mad at when it came to old cinnamon and david benavidez so we got to keep the same energy man and and when people don't want to fight their mandatories and especially when it's called upon and especially if it's if it's in the chronological order which mandatory should be called between the sanction and bodies then something should be happening either you fight them or you get stripped of the title it's only fair everybody deserves an opportunity and a fair shake at the title man because this is what these fighters want to do and i think with john real casimero he just has to keep going and 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 um you know demonstrate the ability to be how could i say it to be responsible you know and not not miss weight not have any uh any type of um <laughs> any any, any run-ins with anybody or anything where he's breaking the rules you know just adhere to the rules and i would love to see uh in versus casabero i would love to see in versus mj akbadaliev um and i i, I like to see in versus sam goodman too but of the three my for me my priority would be mj akbadaliev and then now in versus uh casabero and then you know maybe sam goodman but i do think that there's other fighters that are more deserving than sam goodman right now even though he's the number one ranked uh, uh person in two sanctioned bodies because john real casimero he's in top 10 in two sanctioned bodies and jack modelli if he's the number one in wba2 and it seems like according to his team that this is a mandatory that should be called and he should be fighting now yeah, anyway now let me know what y'all think about that in the comments do you think that anyway will ever fight casimero do you think he will ever fight al do you think that sam goodman in anyway is a good fight i do but i prefer the other two man y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments man i appreciate y'all rocking me as always remember with god we can do anything without god we are nothing don't forget to like the video we out from the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.